What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here, top right hand corner of Lost and Found Ellie, playing with the red Zerg pieces. He's very well known and is continuing his growth and dominance in the StarCraft 2 Pro scene. His name is Lambo. And his opponent spawning in the cross position, playing with the blue Zerg pieces. He's also well known in the StarCraft II Pro scene, not quite as well known as his opponent, but still a force to be reckoned with. His name is True. So guys and girls, I'm very excited about this matchup between these two players that was played at the WCS in Austin, was a best of five series in the round of 16 of that tournament. And we all know, that the ZVZ matchup is one of, generally speaking, a lot of mind games. And I'm really excited to be, to, you know, kind of share these moments with all of you because this was a, a best of five that I was not able to watch live at the event. So we're going to kind of go through and watch these together. And I think it's going to be really good. I'm excited about it. So it does look like True is going to go for that hatch gas pool opener to start the game and then the same can also be said though for Lambo so very similar in that production tab but you can see at the top left hand corner of the map it, you can really you can really see exactly what both players are deciding to do early on in the game and a lot of times when the ZZ matchup begins there's generally speaking a lot of I guess you could say the, the production tabs are generally speaking similar unless there's some form of cheese going on on from from either opponent that said, though, I'm excited to, to see what True especially does in, in this in this matchup. You know, so you're going up against one of the one of the hot Zerg players out there. You know, this guy is really Lambo's been playing absolutely incredibly well, and I, I would be excited. I'm excited to see kind of what True decides to do in this series, and really early on in the series, it does look like both players are going to decide to go for two queens, and then of course following that up with the metabolic boost upgrade, which of course is Zerg and speed upgrade. So, very similar still on both sides of the map. Super, super similar on either end. And it looks like we might actually get ourselves a little bit of a macro focus game to start, uh, at least early on here in the beginning stages. But as I said, you know, I, I love watching Lambo. He's a lot of fun to watch. He comes up with some really fun builds. And, you know, this is a guy who can, you know, he's been able to go up against players like Cyril and dark and some some really good players out there on the circuit and you know really give them a run for their money and take maps off of some of the best players out there so that's definitely saying something and true is also a player who is uh you know growing in popularity as well you know a lot of people really enjoy uh, some of his play styles as well but as this uh, as we as we go here it does look like we're starting to get some changes in the build orders we're going to see a baneling nest coming out of true and it looks like on the opposite side, a Roach Warren's going to be coming as well as double Evolution Chambers for Lambo. So Lambo's going to go ahead and go for that full wall off of his natural hatchery. He's uh, kind of delaying this third hatchery so far. So I'm wondering if he's going to get a little bit aggressive here at some point. Looks like instead of going for that natural, or I should say that third hatchery, he is going to, he is deciding to go ahead and get the lair out. So we are going to see the lair as well as those plus one upgrades are going to probably get started here. One's already uh, starting out of that evolution chamber. So it looks like this drone is thinking about going for that third hatchery. But it looks like, just like that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, it's going to be kind of, you know, the thing about the ZBZ matchup, it starts getting really hard to control exactly what's going on all over the map because there is just usually so much action happening everywhere. So it does look like <clears throat> Lambo is going to start moving out with some Zerglings. He's going to start moving. He's going to try to get a little bit of some action going early on. There are a couple of banelings out, so you're going to have very careful, beautiful baneling hit there for True. Great way to start this game for True, as he is ahead of, as far as the economy is concerned, because he's already on that third hatchery. Looks like these Zerglings are going to start running towards that third hatchery at this point. They're going to get the surround on the Queen. Nice surround there. He's going to be kind of uh, a little bit of an eye for an eye there. 
We're going to see Glad Reconstitution. That is going to be researched for Lambo. And more and more of these roaches are going to be coming out as well. Glad Reconstitution is going to be started as well for True. And it looks like this third hatchery is going to be under a little bit of some pressure. These Zerglings are going to... thought they were going to try to get this around on a couple of those roaches. But nonetheless, we are going to see the Zerglings as well as Banelings moving in they want to do a little bit of some damage to this third hatchery that's going down for lambo it's about to go down here very very shortly lambo's got a pretty nice defensive structure going on here with of course roaches as well as queens that are going to be very helpful it looks like in this defensive uh, defensive game so far it seems on both sides of the map now it looks like they are going to try to maybe get an angle get a couple of get a couple of drums for their troubles there you go and True is going to, you know, try to, you know, and that's the biggest ordeal when it comes to this matchup. You really want to kind of, as far as getting that necessary, of course, aggression that you're going to need at some point in the game. But it's also important to be able to, you know, keep tabs on what your opponent's doing. You know, because information and, and, of course, you know, scouting is probably one of the the most important aspects of StarCraft 2, and we can all probably agree to that. But nonetheless, it does look like both players giving each other a good amount of respect, at least early on here. Lambo is supply blocked at this point, so I wonder if he must have lost an Overlord or something, but Burrow is being researched by both players. Both of these players, look at this. So we have, we're about the six and a half minute mark now, and just look at how similar the production tab is. Looks like these Zerglings are going to try to run down and go ahead and get a couple of drones. Looks like they, a couple of these drones were already weak, and so they are going to just keep going after those drones. Beautiful play here by True. I actually do like that run by a lot. And so it's just going to kind of, you know, delay Lambo somewhat. He's going to have to continue, you know, droning up, and, and True is is starting to kind of build a little bit of a, of a nice economy. Now, of course, Lambo is not out of this thing just yet, and that that goes without question. But it definitely does hurt when uh, you're losing some drones here and there. So Lambo, or I should say True, one thing I feel that's very important when you're playing this matchup is to, one, of course, know exactly what your opponent's doing, but number two is to consistently put on aggression. When you're going up against the best players in the world of StarCraft II, like someone like Lambo, who's very good at StarCraft II, of course, one of the best Zerg players out there in the world, you absolutely, without question, need to put aggression on. Because if you allow him to dictate the pace of the game, you could basically, you know, you're going to make it very difficult for yourself to, to, to obtain a victory and win even one map. So that said, it, it does feel like True's been playing this very well so far, and it looks like he's got some roaches as well as ravagers that are going to be out. We have some roaches that are starting to move in towards that third hatchery location. It looks like they're probably going to go ahead and pop up, and they're going to start trying to go after some of those drones. At the same time, more roaches are going to be moving in to what looks to be that main base location. Very interestingly played here. Observer came out in the nick of time though, and it does look like they're gonna back off though Some of these roaches though are gonna be in the main base location. They are kind of just waiting As so much action is going on all over the bases of of true and True is you know, it looks like he's trying to clear this thing up But these roaches are being an absolute nuisance all over the place beautiful played here by Lambo as he is, uh, he's doing a really good job. He's getting a lot of value out of these little handfuls of roaches. Looks like they are going to get cleared up, though, at least at this point. And you gotta, you gotta give some credit there to to Lambo. And while this has all been going on, he's going on to his fourth hatchery at this point. Now, fourth hatchery's already finished up for True. So True has been kind of a step ahead throughout the course of this game so far. But I gotta say, you gotta give, uh, gotta give some props here to to Lambo. Really trying to. Kind of split true, uh, split up True's army, and Lambo's been playing this, you know, play you know, a nice little counterattack there. I think that was a really nice counterattack. Looks like Nematize Carapace is going to be coming in very shortly for True, as it already finished up for Lambo, and more and more Roaches, and we're seeing Ravagers coming in now. So this is kind of what what looks to be what these players have decided to go for, and it's interesting because you, generally speaking, will start with. You know, a lot of times you'll start with, of course, Zerglings, and then you'll move into 
banelings and then of course a lot of times you'll move into roaches and then ravagers and then you know hydras of course a lot of times we'll come after that but it looks like this army is gonna pounce right on top of true's uh smaller army obviously of roaches and ravagers kind of throwing true a little bit off guard here we go it does look like lambo's got a nice edge now over his opponent i gotta be very careful the question is is he gonna overextend here he's gonna go after that third or i'm sorry that fourth hatchery and it all comes down to the micro who has got the better micro game it does look like lambo wants to get this fourth hatchery but is he overextending true is trying to pounce on this army at least at this point and now we have a back and forth engagement it looks like lambo got a little bit too much at least at this point got to be very careful though the overextension could be absolutely catastrophic to lambo it's a very close engagement though extremely good biles by both players but just like that, it looks like Lambo holding off just a little bit longer. Got to be patient here. As we approach that 11-minute mark, he's going to split up his army, and it looks like he's going to start trying to, you know, do a little bit of some damage on multiple angles, and it looks like True is going to start coming after his opponent. And Oh, he's chasing his opponent, but at the same time, you got to look at exactly what's going on and the natural main base locations. This was a diversion for what's coming in the natural and the main base location. A lot of damage is being dealt here. There's a lot of drones going down, and this is exactly what Lambo wanted to do. Confuse and outsmart his opponent. But on the upside of the map, here comes True. He's going after bits and pieces of this army as a lot of his army, which is Lambo's, is across on the opposite side of the map. Here we go. It's going to come down to the micro and the strength in numbers as True is trying to go after all these units. He's smelling blood. He wants to take out this. Of course, he wants to win right here and right now. You can just tell. Was there a little bit of an overextension there by Lambo is the big question. And it does look like the fourth hatchery has gone down and it does look like there is going to be a little bit of a surround here once again by lambo but it's all going to come down to once again the micro and it's you know what i gotta say after both attacks so you know one attack by lambo and then the counter attack by true i'd say we're pretty well squared up at this point i mean it, it, it really feels that way. Now, the one thing that's positive for True at this point is that this hatchery, which is the fourth hatchery, is still alive. Not really doing too well at this point, but it's still alive. And it does look like Lambo wants to come after this hatchery. He wants to take it out right now. And it's just more... All we're seeing on the production tab is more and more roaches being added to the mix here. So, very interesting play by both players. Roaches, Ravagers, here we go. Lambo wants to take over this game and he is going to swallow this army at least at this point. Now there is a little bit of an army on the backside for True and it looks like there is a question mark as to is there going to be enough here for True to be able to take out the rest of this army. He's trying very hard but oh my god the amount of damage that's coming in here. It does look like True's supply is plummeting and Lambo is trying to get this around but oh my god. It's so close. I think it was smart for Lambo to move away at this point and not try to not try to overextend once again because that could absolutely spell disaster. But I, I gotta say, a very cheeky move here, you know, with the burrow on the drones. Uh, but, but you know, it's one of those things, guys, that Lambo now it feels is definitely in control of this game. He is going to go ahead and he's getting that he's retaken that fourth base. And as as of you know th right this second, it just feels like True is going to be forced into an all in here shortly, I feel. Uh, it's just it's one of those things where I cannot see it really really happening any other way if he wants to to you know kind of he needs to kind of go an eye for an eye here and and do some damage on the upside of the map once again. It does look like there are going to be some roaches that are going to start moving here. But you got to wonder. I mean, it's it's just it's a matter of time, it feels like, uh, for for Lambo to obtain victory, right? I mean, it, it just, there's so, 
it's just very interesting on both sides of the map how this game is kind of unfolding as we approach that 15 minute mark it, it, it does feel that there there's moments where each player has definitely had opportunities to to overtake the the other you know and so very very interestingly enough though as as you know we pass that 15 minute mark who is ahead I mean, if you ask me, obviously, if you look at the supply counts, Lambo is certainly ahead of the supply. And I think he did that last engagement, definitely. It feels like he was able to take a nice lead against against True. But the thing is, is that True is certainly not out of this thing just yet. He is still, he's still in this thing. But I think he's got to make some drastic moves here. And I think he's trying to do that right now. It looks like he's going to go after this third hatchery. And there's a pretty nice sized army that's going to be moving with not much defense at the fourth base. And it's going to go down just like that. Here we go. The counterattack is happening on the opposite side of the map. Are we in for a possible base race? It just looks like Lambo has a significantly larger army than that of True. But True, it looks like he's going to try to take on this army head on. At least at this point, and it looks like he is going to start moving all the way back home. He's going all the way back home as some of these important tech structures are going to be under significant fire at this point. And so just like that, True is just, I, I feel like True, he's trying to buy some time so that he has an opportunity to get back in this game. But it looks like it's going to be kind of tough because there is just a lot uh, a really nice supply lead for, 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 for Lambo at this point in the game. I mean, one small thing could turn the tides of battle, but I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. It's hard to tell at this point who's really going to have the edge. And I mean, Lambo now is transitioning to that Spire, and you got to think that he's definitely going to be in control once that Spire goes through, because we're not really seeing anything like that coming out of, of True. He's not really going after, you know, going up to a, to a hive and giving those higher tier hive base units. So I don't know. Man, what a, what an intense first game, though, in this series. I gotta say, it's, it's a lot of fun watching games like this. And, you know, a lot of times in the ZVZ matchup, you'll have some, ma some macro focus games, but a lot of times you'll have, you know, the, you know, the cheesier builds, right, that a lot of players go for. And so it's going to be interesting, nonetheless, to see how this game is going to unfold. Because at this point, True has not taken that fourth base back yet. And Lambo is taking it back. So, you know, he's going to be on four bases. He has a, uh, you know, as far as the supply is concerned, Lambo is in control. But, I mean, you know... It's just one of those things. The, the, any engagement here, any bat, poor engagement by either player could really be the end, right? And I think that this Mutalist Switch could be the, the, the big point um, in, in this game. Because True has no idea this is coming. And we're talking a lot of, of Mutalists are going to be coming out now. And they're going to wreak havoc to this army here. And so it's going to, you know, it's going to really come down to the micro of both players. But I mean, with these mutas moving across the map, man, this is going to get very interesting because mutalists are going to try to find this army and they're going to try to have their way and go by the level of surprise that they want. And it looks like they're going to try to corner them. Oh my, beautiful. I am really, this is going to be crazy because it does look like Lambo is going to make the perfect setup to go ahead and swallow this army alive as all these roaches and Ravagers are going down in a matter of seconds. There is still a lot of, uh, a few units still here. You got to be very careful how you deal with this. But the Mutalist switch, absolutely brilliant, true his supply plummets and GG is called. And Lambo takes game number one with some very intense micro, some great macro in this first game, and then the beautiful Mutalist Switch, which sealed the deal. Where Lambo now goes up one game to nothing. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Lambo and True. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive, and as always, I'll talk to you guys all 
in the next one. Peace. What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top left hand corner of Acid Plant LE playing with the blue Zerg pieces. He's currently down in the series, but certainly not out of it just yet. His name is True. And his opponent spawning in the bottom right hand corner of the map playing with the red Zerg pieces. He's currently up in the series and wants to keep it rolling in his favor. His name is Lambo. So, guys and girls, game number one in this best of five series that was played at the WCS in Austin and was within the round of 16 of that tournament, True and Lambo, both I should say, had moments in it, which was an intense macro focus game. There were moments that either player felt like could really obtain victory. As the game kind of progressed, both players really traded blows as far as their army compositions are concerned. And then it really ended up with Lambo at the very end of the match. Going for that mutilisk switch when all of True's army up to that point had been just ground-based units. And then he trapped the army at that third base location absolutely brilliantly. Uh, really trapping true and uh, obtaining victory that way in, a, in an intense macro focus game. So now in this game, the question is, is what does Lamb Lambo do? Does he do a little bit more of the same in game number one? Or what does he do here in order to take a 2-0 lead, I guess you could say? And the same, I think, can be said for true. It's, you know, how do you get back into this game when you're going up against one of the best Zerg players out there? What do you do? So... You go for some cheese, or do you go for a little bit of, of some, you know, a macro-focused game once again? We're about to find out, as True is going for that hatch gas pool opener, very standard, getting that metabolic boost upgrade, which of course is the Zergling speed upgrade, most standard upgrade for any Zerg player. On the upside of the map, we're going to see a very similar build from Lambo. So very similar. These players, you know, even into, you know... A, Mid, long, I would say even close to the mid game, both players were still still had very similar build orders as far as the different units that they were creating. So it's it's going to be very interesting in this game. What are these players going to do in this game? Are they going to be very similar or is it going to be a little bit different? It should be interesting as both players are going for those third quick third hatcheries and. They're going, uh, it looks as if Lambo's going for that Baneling Nest here. So that's going to start, uh, get, get him started. And the same can be said for True. So generally speaking, when it comes to the ZVZ matchup, a lot of times what we'll see is Zerglings moving into, of course, morphing into the Banelings. And then you have the Roaches and then the Hydras. And it kind of goes from there a lot of times. In game number one, we saw True and Lambo going for very similar unit compositions. That included that of Zerglings to Banelings, but really not that long. And then we got Roaches and Ravagers, and that's pretty much what we had the rest of the game until the Mutilus switch came out of Lambo. So, I'm excited. I really am. It does look like Lambo's going to try to get some scouting information. Beautiful scout here. He's going to see kind of exactly what is going on on True's side of the map. And, you know, now it's it's just, it, guys, Lambo is th this guy is an absolute monster i i absolutely he has just been an absolute force to be reckoned with in starcraft 2. he's been more and more fun to watch over time now and i'm excited to to see where his career takes him but we are going to see an evolution chamber coming in for lambo and then we're also going to see the roach warren going down as well so it's guys it, i'm telling you it's it, this is this is this is kind of already setting up to be somewhat of what i think is going to be a pretty exciting matchup once again these two players are not um they're not gonna i displease us let's put it that way looks like the lair is going to be coming in for true so he's going to be able to go ahead and get those higher tier lair based units we are going to start seeing the upgrades coming in out of the evolution chamber so this is where it gets tough as a as a commentator, as a, you know, a caster of StarCraft 2, when you talk about the ZBZ matchup, there's so much that, generally speaking, goes on all over the map. So here we go. It does look like we're going to see Zerglings and Banelings kind of going at it all throughout 
that near that third base location of True. And it looks like once again, the Zerglings of Lambo. He wants to get more scouting information, see if there is any types of builds that he should know about. Now there is going to be some units that are going to be going down as in Zerglings for True. Down to that third base location. And, and they're trying to get a little bit of some scouting information as well. You can just tell. Now this is interesting. True is going to go ahead and he's going to pull out the card that won Lambo game number one. He's going to go for the Spire, but here's something that he doesn't know. There is a push coming with a bunch of roaches moving around. And it looks like they're going to try to get this around on these roaches. I absolutely like this. The beautiful micro, though, on those roaches going ahead and getting the Ravager cocoons out, buying himself a little bit of some time. And, oh, man, these Ravagers are going to start doing a lot of damage. All those Zerglings. And in the grand scheme of things, those Zerglings did nothing to those Roaches. So here we go. The Roaches and Ravagers are moving out. Banelings as well as Zerglings are moving in. And it looks like there might be this might be painful because there's a lot of units coming in here for Lambo. He wants to end this game right here and right now. The Mutalists are coming out, but is it too late? Because there's so many units moving across the map for Lambo. Lambo wants to win this. The supply is already dipping for True. Can he hold on? If he can only hold on for a little bit longer, it's going to be absolutely something that he has to do at this point. He has got to hold on. And if he does, he's going to be in a good spot. But the problem is, these Roaches and Ravagers don't look like they're going to stop anytime soon. This could be GG for True at this point because he is absolutely getting decimated. Trying to pull a little bit of Lambo's, kind of his tricks out of the book. Going for the Spire, trying to get those Mutalists and doing a little bit of his own. Giving him a taste of his own medicine does not work out because Lambo obtains victory here in game number two with going for a beautifully timed timing push i hope you guys did enjoy this game between lambo and true and if you guys did leave a thumbs up subscribe for new stay positive and as always i'll talk to you guys all in the next one peace what is going on world what's up everyone it's zero here today i'm bringing you guys a brand new starcraft 2 video this one is between two players on the wcs pro circuit spawning here in the top left hand corner of Catalyst Ellie, playing with the blue Zerg pieces. He's currently down in the series, but certainly not out of it just yet. His name is True. And his opponent, spawning in the bottom right hand corner of the map, playing with the red Zerg pieces. He's currently up in the series and wants to keep it rolling in his favor. His name is Lambo. So, guys and girls, this series has been one of very interesting narratives so game number one of course we had you know a very intense macro focus game which ended up you know in all ground-based units on both sides and then it ends up ending because lambo goes for a spire and surrounds true's army who of course at that time still only had ground-based units and so lambo obtained victory that way well game number two True tried to give Lambo a little bit of a taste of his own medicine by going for the Spire early on in the game, but Lambo had other ideas. He went ahead and went for a timing push with Roaches and Ravagers and obtained victory that way. So I, I, I got to say, I'm excited about this game because what we're seeing very early on here is True going for the very quick, of course, spawning pool as well as extractor. And so... We are going to see Zerglings moving across the map right now. And so I am going to, it's going to be interesting. Can True pull a little bit of some cheese and obtain victory here by doing so? Looks like this natural hatchery has gone down and it looks like it's going to be under fire very, very early. So I like it. I like True. You know, he's down a couple of games. He wants to try to at least get in the win column here. So this is where it's going to get very interesting because Metabolic Boost is coming in for both players. We are going to start seeing some Baileys coming in now for True as well. And we are going to start seeing 
The spine crawlers coming in, and it looks like these zerglings are going to try to do as much damage as possible, but now the banelings are coming in. And so now we're going to see banelings as well as zerglings. More and more of them are going to be coming in too. You're going to have to be very careful. Natural hatchery's gone down now for, for true. And here we go. Looks like a lot of these units are starting to go down. And it does look like, oh man, there's a lot of damage that's being dealt. Surround's coming in on the queen. That queen is surrounded, and it looks like that queen's going to go down as well. Oh my god, the banelings are coming in. They're going to try to do as much damage as they possibly can, and the Zerglings are in as well. Oh, this is gonna, This could be really painful for Lambo because there is a lot of damage being dealt now. The floodgates have been opened, and these Zerglings are having an absolute and utter heyday. And the Banelings going to come in and try to get the ex get the explosion on some of those. Oh, and the GG comes in and true. Throws Lambo off. And as I said, this has been a series so far of mind games. And game number three ends in a very intense fashion. True. In three minutes, th close to three and a half minutes, obtains victory against Lambo. And now gets on the scoreboard. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Lambo and True. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay positive. And as always, I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Peace. What is going on, world? What's up, everyone? It's Zero here. Today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft II video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the bottom right-hand corner of Darkness Sanctuary LE, playing with the blue zerg pieces he's currently down but did get on the score scoreboard and wants to tie this series up right here and right now his name is true and his opponent spawning in the cross position playing with the red zerg pieces he's currently up in the series and wants to finish off this series right here and right now his name is lambo so, guys and girls, this series has had a little bit of everything in it, and I am excited to see it continue in this game, which of course is match point for none other than Lambo. All he's got to do is win one more game, because this is a best of five series that was played at the WCS in Austin, and was in the round of 16 of that tournament, and I've got to say, it has been one I should say a series of narratives because there's been so many different things that have happened throughout this series so far. And, you know, like let's talk about game number three. True gets on the scoreboard by pulling some ultimate cheese and throwing Lambo completely off guard. And I think, like, you know, he was able to obtain, you know, that victory by really just throwing a curveball in there. And, and you know, Lambo was not ready for some cheese and that's exactly what true did and I, you know what i actually think that if i was in true's situation i'm down two games against one of the best players or i should say one of the best zerg players on the planet i would go ahead and do some cheese as well because it's it's one of those ordeals where it's almost why not go for some cheese and try to steal a game from your opponent and that's exactly what true did so the question is now is if you're Lambo, you don't want this series to go on any longer. How do you close it out right here and right now against a player like True, who is very good at what he does, obviously. One of the best Zerg players out there as well. Not as well known as Lambo, but still very good to say the least. So let's see what both our players are deciding to do here early on in the game. Hatch Gas Pool Opener coming in for True. He is going to go for that Metabolic Boost upgrade, which of course is a Zergling Speed upgrade. We are going to see the same out of Lambo. He's going to go ahead and get the quick Baneling Nest at this point, whereas True, though, is going to get the Evolution Chamber. Both players are going to begin Queens out, of course. Queens are very good, one of the best units, if not the best unit for the Zerg. Uh, I gotta say one of the best units in all of StarCraft too. Not only are they great for that defensive force, but also very good for, of course, spreading creep and getting that information. And they uh, they really do create a lot of value for, uh, for you as a Zerg player. So, nonetheless, we are going to see more and more Queens coming out of each player. Baneling Nest is going to be uh, finished up here shortly for Lambo. And then we are going to see, of course, the Metabolic Boost finishing up for both players here relatively shortly. So, 
it does look like that third hatchery is going to be coming in now for true so he wants to get instead of going for some aggress uh, some aggression he is deciding to go for a little bit more so of getting a, a booming economy essentially it looks like he's going to get a nice a really nice uh, scout in here and he's going to see that there is no third hatchery. Now, the third hatchery is going down right now for Lambo. So he's going to go ahead and get that third hatchery out. We are going to see the Roach Warren coming in as well for Lambo. And you know what? We're setting ourselves up here, guys, for possibly a macro focus game. We are going to see True. He's going to start going for those ground based unit upgrades. And so here's the thing, okay? Do you go for a timing push if you're True? Because that would be the ultimatum of this of this series because Lambo's played some incredible mind games against his opponent and then True was able to play some mind games of his own in game number three so could this all come full circle and that, that happens once again here in this game or is Lambo just going to outsmart his opponent because we know Lambo I mean this is a guy who is you know I mean this guy's taking maps off of off of you know Serral and some of the best some of the best Zerg players out there or just you know StarCraft 2 players out there so here we go some Zerglings are being sent across the map Lambo's third hatchery is going to be finishing up here shortly and there's a lot of Zerglings coming Zerglings are starting to move across the map here and the question is are they trying to get that that you know that information so to speak or that scouting information or are they just trying to do a little bit uh get get a little bit aggressive it does look like they are going to start going after this third hatchery of lambo this could be a big pickup looks like he is going to get it beautiful play here by true gets out of there without losing too many units he's got that scouting information i really like the current position now oh wait a second now this is where it's going to get very interesting because i do not think true knows about this the Nidus Network is going to be coming in. Oh my god. The ultimate cheese once again. True has no idea that this is going to be coming. It does look like Spire's coming in. True True like knows at this point that he's ahead. But he's is he going to find out about it? Oh my god. I don't think he's going to find out about it. As the Queens are going into the Nidus Network. Oh my god. This could be painful. Lambo wants to end this thing off. And it looks like... True's gonna go back home, and here we go. The Nidus Worm's already out, and the Queens are out as well. And here we go. They're gonna go ahead and transfuse that the, the Nidus Worm, and so much damage is gonna be down here if this is not taken care of very soon. All oh, the Nidus Worm does go down, but there was so much damage being uh, that could be dealt right now. Here we go. It looks like Lambo is gonna be surrounded, but so many units are going down. Roaches, Queens are. Get, being taken care of right now and more queens as well as all these roaches all the damage that's being dealt right now absolutely ludicrous true supply is plummeting he had to pull all of the all of those roaches or i'm sorry drones off the line and there is just so much damage being dealt another nidus worm is coming in the transfuses are coming in so much damage is being dealt and unbelievably, Lambo, who was behind in this game, has absolutely overwhelmed his opponent at this point by using the Nidus Worm. Another Nidus Worm's coming in. Most likely, more and more queens are being added to the mix here. And those queens are going to be great for, for, for of course, the all, all of these Mutas. These Mutas are going to be in substantial trouble Oh, Lambo. The absolute cheese came in in game number three. In game number four, Lambo once again is just constructing so, I mean, just unbelievable. The drones are coming out of the Nidus Worm. They're constructing spores to go up against all of these mutalisks. This is what you call, guys, some of that cheese that... I mean, just unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, to say the least. I mean, the question is, though, is True is not completely out of this thing. If there's a substantial, you know, a moment that he can, you know, kind of get ahead, but it looks like all these units are just going after those spine crawlers as well as those Meatless. There is just not much left here for True. And True, it looks like he has nothing left to stop this force. GG is called. And Lambo 
wins this crazy series between True and moves on to the next round of the tournament. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Lambo and True. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive, and as always, I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Peace.